nicer. Definitely nicer, Brandon. Oh, wow. That's bigger than I think we both are. Yep, it's a big one. It's a big fish. Oh! Big fish. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are up here with some of the other guys and we are going to be doing a walleye fishing video for you. We're going to be all the way up north and we're going to be using tip-ups today. And we've got one of our good buddies out here. Hey, Oakley, you want to come say hi? Hi, buddy. Oh, boy. Oakley's coming out to fish with us today, you big meathead. <laughs> Oakley is going to be helping us hopefully raise some northern Wisconsin gold onto the top of the ice for us. Like I said, we're out here with some of the guys. I've got good old Paul behind me here. Say hello. Whoa. <laughs> we got, uh, you guys have seen Paul on the channel before. We've got Paul, his father Dave, and we've got uh, his son Gunner out here with us as well. So. That is a total of five guys. We can each have three lines in tonight, which is a total of 15 tip-ups. So I'm hoping we get into them. It's extremely windy out here today, guys. Like, it's crazy. Uh, coming out was great because had the wind at our back, and uh, it's probably about a mile hike or so to our spot. So it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting, and sun's just starting to go down. It's really gray. We got tiny little bit of snow-ish stuff in the air been interesting but uh, we got the shack set up we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish drilling out some holes putting in all of our tip-ups it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna really get into some fish tonight we had an awesome weekend when we were out here last time so we're gonna make sure we keep Oakley warm pound out a couple more holes and uh, won't be long we're gonna get into some fish Setting the last tip up right now. Didn't really show you guys what we're doing, but that's because it's so incredibly windy. Basically, the gist of what we're doing today is tip up fishing for some walleyes. We're setting up early. We're going to be fishing a weed edge. This bay that we got here is a giant weed bed uh, that goes into like a shallower bay from the deep water. And basically we're set up on the side of it. We're dealing with depth from anywhere from six to ten feet using suckers today send him down sending him about a foot off of the bottom and that's pretty much how we're going to be going after these walleyes we came out here last time and got three in the slot and i think we caught about eight total some of the other ones were smaller but nice fish hoping to duplicate that but uh, also add a couple on top of the slot so I'm gonna finish getting this set up and then uh, we're gonna go back to the shack and warm up come here come here oh boy look at you slipping and sliding you want to go in here huh should we open this up for you oh boy what do we got all set up for you huh oh boy oh man good boy such a handsome boy We've got his bed all set up for him. Oakley's gonna be grinding it all night out here with us, right buddy? Oh, you're so excited, huh? You're a good boy. Yeah, now we just gotta turn on the heater, maybe cook up some hot dogs. And uh, Nick and I got a spot to just chill out and relax for a little bit. Oakley's got his spot. We're gonna get him some food and some water and it's hopefully not gonna be too long and uh, one of those flags are gonna go up, right buddy? No way, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. I'm recording right now. <laughs> no, we don't have a tip-up. Ah, <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. Oh, this freaking guy. No, but <laughs> wouldn't that have been something? No, no tip-up, but I thought I'd get you going. I don't even know why I fish with this guy. Oakley, you and I are going to make some food. Screw that guy. Your dad's mean. Wieners. 
That is what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Oakley looks like he wants some pretty oh, bad. He would die to have this hot dog right now. I might, might give it to him. He's being a good boy. Pretty much in the next like 40 minutes, we'll probably start getting some walleye flags. But for the meantime, we're gonna be hunkered down into the tent, make some hot dogs, eat them. We got some chips, hang out with Oakley. See how bad he wants one? Oh wow, he really, really wants a hot dog. All right, I'm gonna have to give it to him because he's he's being a good boy. He really wants that shake. Good job. What's this? Oh, it's peeling! Oh boy! Got him! It Come on back! It feels like a wall. Really? Yeah. But it's not. Oh, yeah, small mouth. <laughs> little small mouth fat. Oh, it's a fatty. Look, Look at that. that thing. What's wrong with that thing? Jeez. It's like 12 that inches. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. 12 Going inches in that thing is so fat. Oh my oh. gosh. Wow. Plump. <laughs> Eating good, I guess. Huh. Oakley is like, that is a fish. Well, what the heck, dude? Fattest smallmouth of this size I've ever caught, that's for sure. Woo! Step up number two. Let's go. Oh, the old seven pound shuffle. Typical for out here. The eight pound crawl. That might be the eight pound crawl. Oh, now we're looking more like the seven pound shuffle again. It could be. Could be. It could Big be. Got him. A lot of movement. A lot of Not movement. Not huge. I'm assuming smallmouth. There's the bobber. Here he comes. Yeah, That's a little walleye. Right. Woo! All right, first one of the night for us. Second fish, but this is the old target species here. There we go. Catch and release is his move. Decent little walleye. Very dark colors to him. He's gonna be fringe. He's gonna be very close. Gotta be 15 on this lake. Oh wow, look at that. Just barely had it. Woo! He's a lot smaller than a lot of them that we get, but that's okay. It's good to see that we still got some this size. Thank you, Paul. Almost 16, 15 and three quarters, we'll say. That's a perfect little eater. That's exactly what we're after at this time of the day. We usually tend to get a little bit smaller fish when the sun's going down. Obviously, it's very gray and cloudy out here today, but uh, that's perfect. That's gonna be a good little eater. It's exactly what we're looking for. Once it goes into nightfall, usually the fish start to get a lot bigger. So, gonna go ahead and this one's gonna be going home with us. That's gonna be going good in the grease, boys. Okay, so. We've got good news, folks. We're gonna go ahead, toss this one into the shack. A little treat for Oakley. Here you go, Oakley. Have fun. Please don't eat that. I would much rather eat that. <laughs> okay, we got that in there. And we've got another tip up, so we're getting some action before dark here. This is exciting. Let's go check it out. Still turns again. That's a good time. Six. Nope. Probably the same as the last. He didn't go far. He's right here. Woo! That one is not going to go. So you can tell, guys, we're getting that action, but that one's going to be just under the slot. That one's probably about 13 inches, I would guess. So, going to go ahead and get him unhooked, but hey, two walleyes before dark already. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah, something's there. Woo! Look at that, guys. All just got his first keeper sized walleye. Alright, well, while these guys are playing operation, we got another flag, so let's go get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, she's moving. You ready, Oakley? Come here, buddy. What's underneath here? Is there a fish under here? Ooh, feels better. Or he was just right underneath the hole. Just right underneath the hole. Oh god, that's <laughs> tiny. See Same as the last one. <laughs> Those guys caught a uh, 16 and a half, I think, over there, something like that. And uh, well, 
Got another little guy, but uh, hey, awesome to be catching fish. And honestly, guys, it's very good to see this. And the reason for that is because this shows that the lake is still keeping a very healthy amount of walleye population in here. They're not stocking this body of water. So to see that there's a lot of natural reproduction is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get him unhooked right away. Get a release on this little guy. Nick's got another tip up, so I'm gonna go ahead and go check it out. There See you goes. later, buddy. Woo! All right, got another one. Let's go get it. Well, no movement out of the tip up yet, but it's been up for a while. So go ahead and check it. Small, but he's there. 15 and a half inches. Oh, that's gonna be darn close. It's gonna be close. <laughs> Man, we are getting just a huge school of all these like 14 to 17 inches coming through. But if we can uh, get our limit here real quick, that would be pretty awesome. Oh, we just got a <laughs> oh it's moving now. Check her out quick. We'll check it out real quick. Nice. No. Small one? Another yeah, small one. Woo. All right, well, here we go. Let's go get this one now. Maybe this one won't be as small. What did you just catch? Uh, about 14 inches. Wow. Okay. Let's head out deep. Nicer. Smaller one. Uh, we just got to weed through these guys first, right? Yeah, there's a lot of this size, it seems like. Wow, <laughs> Way to go, Brad. One last look at it before she goes back. Not even going to get a measurement. Probably about 13 inches. All these fish have been anywhere from like 12 and a half to 16 and a half inches, and they have to be over 15 to keep. So, pretty awesome to see. I mean, we've been getting nothing but flags. Like, we, as soon as we set the camera down, we try to walk to the shack. Right, like, look at, they're over here. Yeah, they just got another fish. one. I mean, we've had to have had 15 flags already tonight. Nothing crazy of size yet, but. Uh, that's okay. Sometimes on this lake, right when the sun goes down, you get into a lot of those smaller size fish. You're going to run into probably anywhere from half hour to two hour lull period. And then all of a sudden the big fish start to come in. We might not even see a lull period tonight just because of the pressure change and how many fish are biting. It might just go right into big fish. So you never know. We're going to go ahead and get this one set back up. But so far we've had an exceptional night. This one's gonna be bigger than eight inches. Yeah. Feels better? Yeah, it feels like it. Lots and lots and lots of head shakes. Holy cow. Oh, that's nicer. Definitely nicer, Brandon. That's a nice fish. It's like easily slaughter bigger. It's a light line, just remember. Oh, wow. That's bigger than I think we both think. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a big one. It's a big fish. Oh, big fish. There we go, baby. It took time, but we finally got it. Let's go. That is a freaking dandy, boys. Woo hoo hoo. Wow. Been Look struggling that with tall some smaller dorsal. Ones, but oh, one, my goodness. Nice, perky, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. Fish. Fish. <laughs> that is awesome. Very well, that cool. was definitely bigger than the last couple that we got out of this hole, that's for sure. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get this big guy back into the water. Absolutely gorgeous 25 inch northern Wisconsin walleye. Come on, buddy. Just barely fits through that hole. There it goes. The tail wave goodbye, baby. Let's go, that is freaking exciting. Important to keep those fish in the water while you're operating on them, guys, but hey. Biggest one of the night for us, 25. That is freaking awesome. Woo! Dave's got some tricks up his sleeve. No. Not small, but not big. Woo! Well, there's okay. the minnow. We just got a, another tip off high. over there, so Brandon and I are gonna have to head on over and check that out. All right, so we just got to our tip up. 
And uh, no movement, but... This one is going that direction. <laughs> this one also... Is that up. one going this direction? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Bobbers right there. You got one Hang too? Hang on now. Are you guys connected? Wait, 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 wait stop, stop, Gunner. It's a nice fish. He's right here. He's right below the ice. Okay. Yep, stop, Gunner. Okay, so that is crazy. The fish swam into both lines. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. It, it literally, it ate both of ours, Gunner. Seriously? Both hooks Wait, are you there? using... Oh yeah, he's... Look at Mine's right here. Right here. This is mine because I use red hooks. And Gunner's is swallowed. <laughs> this fish. Here, let me show you this fish quick. This is a nice slot fish. But <laughs> this fish ate both of our lines. That is the first time I've ever seen that. I've seen them getting tangled before, but I've never seen a fish eat two of the same minnows right next to the same holes. That is crazy. Wow. All right, we've got some work to do here. All right, look at this fish, 23 inches. This is uh, Gunner and I's fish that we <laughs> caught together. Get a release on them. That is hilarious. I've never seen a fish do that. Apparently they're really eating tonight because <laughs> One minnow was not good enough for this guy. Alright, there she goes. Nice, beautiful 23 inch walleye. If you guys have ever seen a walleye bite two of your tip ups, I mean, I've never seen that happen. Apparently, these guys, but uh, they've got a lot of years on us, so I would hope they'd see something like that. But that's the first time in my lifetime I've ever seen a walleye take two minnows and pull up two flags. So that was awesome. We're gonna get it reset here and we are going to continue fishing and hoping for some bigger ones. Well, just set this tip up after that 23 inch here and it just went up. You think it's the same fish? I highly doubt it. I wonder if I should mark this spot with my GPS. I will. Big? No. Tiny. Tiny, tiny. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Woo! Pretty close to the same size as the last one, but not quite. <laughs> Another tip up. Hopefully it's a freaking dandy. Yep, better. Yep. Feels like it. He's like swimming at me. This is one of our deeper ones. Ooh. Decent. Yeah, that is a nice fish. Oh, he is spontaneous. Holy cow. Only eight pound test, so. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Got him. Hey. Wow, very powerful fish, that's that for fish. sure. That's a dandy. Same hole that we got the 23 out of. It's gonna be right around that size too. Oh no, it's probably. So you guys go eight yeah. pound with that floor carbon. Yeah, yep. eight pound floor we're running on there. Look at him put that dorsal up for us. That's freaking awesome. Nice Another fish. beautiful fish. Gonna go ahead and get him unhooked right away. That is awesome. All right, we're gonna get one last look at this beautiful fish. Just over 23 inches, still in the slot though. Probably about 23 and a half. Gorgeous colors to him up here. Important to get them back right away. This could be that one from earlier. That one from earlier was right around the 23 inch range as well. This one fought extremely hard and did not want to come up the hole at all. There he goes. Just like that, boys. Whew. Like I said, very important to keep those fish in the water as long as you can. Sometimes they take a little while to go back, but that one went back full of energy. Woo! All right, well, I think that's gonna probably wrap it up for us here, folks. We got into a crazy, crazy amount of fish. I mean, absolutely killed it out here tonight. We got into some smaller ones early. We got into a couple slots, got that one over the slot, 
absolutely awesome freaking night of fishing. Couldn't have asked for much more. It was so awesome to get up here with the guys and just absolutely pound some fish. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for us. We would greatly appreciate it. Getting Oakley up here was a lot of fun as well. I think he had a fun time out here. If you guys would like to see him on the channel more, certainly let us know down below. And if you guys have ever seen a walleye hit two tip-ups and actually take the minnow, definitely let us know because we've never seen that before. Like Nick said, we've seen them get tangled, but uh, to actually come out and hit two tip-ups right next to one another, that was pretty crazy. So again, fun night of fishing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell. We're going to be uploading three times a week, hopefully through the entire winter. We're going to be getting back out here tomorrow and I think we're going to get into some more fish. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If so, stay tuned for the next one. Tight Lines from NB Edits.